Welcome to the Edupedia World, virtual world free education. Hi, I am Suraya Said, Microsoft Certified Trainer. Let's continue our overview to the interface of the program. Now we are going to talk about the status bar. Status bar appears at the bottom of Excel 2010 window and it keeps you informed of Excel's current mode and any special keys you engage. In addition, you can use the status bar to select a new worksheet view and to zoom in and out on the worksheet. The status bar contains the following areas. From the left, area number one is mode indicator. That shows the current state of the Excel selected cell, such as ready, enter, edit, and point, as well as any special keys that are engaged, like caps lock, number lock, and scroll lock. The second area, which is auto calculate indicator, that displays the average and sum of all numerical entries in the current selection along with the count of every cell in the selection. The third area views shortcuts or layout selector that enable you to select between three layouts for the worksheet area. Number one from the left is the normal view. The middle one is page layout view. And the third one is page break preview. The last area is the zoom slider that enables you to zoom in and zoom out on the cells in the worksheet by dragging the slider to the right or left respectively. Let's explain the mode indicator area. Now we are clicking cell A1. You can notice this cell now is ready for typing anything. If we type, for example, name, the mode is changed to be enter. If we make enter and reselect the cell, it will be ready again. Okay. If we double click the cell, now we are ready to edit the cell content. So the status bar shows me the current state of the selected cell. Next you can see the macro button. If we click it, we can start to record the macro that will be explained later. Also in this area we can see another type of information which is special keys that are engaged like caps lock, number lock, and scroll lock. And to see them, you must customize the status bar to show them. By right click the status bar and check caps lock, also to check number lock and if you need a scroll lock. Click anywhere. So if caps lock is on and number lock is on, I will see them. The next part of the status bar is auto calculate indicator. If I type some numbers like this and I have selected them, you can see the average of these numbers is 3.7 and the count of these cells are four cells selected and the sum is 15. If we add one 
2, 3, plus 6, plus 5, we're gonna get 15. So, the quickest way to see the average count and sum of selected cells is by taking a look at the status bar. If you want to see more functions, you can customize the status bar by right click and choose there is a minimum and maximum function also. Ok, you can see that the minimum number of the selected cells is 1 and the maximum number in the selected cells is 6. Let's talk about the third part of the status bar which is views shortcuts. There are three shortcuts views in Excel. The first one from the left is the normal view and it is the default view that shows the worksheet cells with the column and row headings as we can see here. The second view is page layout view that displays rulers, page margins, header and footers. The third view shortcut is for page break preview. It enables you to adjust the paging of a report. For example, if I have some data and I want to print them, first I prefer to go to the page layout view to see what it will look like when it is printed. We find that it will be printed in one page. And if we return back to the normal view, a dotted line is appeared that indicate the end of the first page and this one describe the end of the second page and if we go down also we will see that horizontal dotted line that indicates the bottom of the pages. If you want to divide data between pages, not to print them only in one page. So going to page break preview to decide which data you want to see in the first page. Here you can see the blue line that indicates the default page break after page 1. And if we want page 1 to show only data till row 10, so we drag the blue line just below row 10. So we decide that we will print on two pages and page 1 will show only rows from row 1 to row 10. Okay. Also, we can make the same thing in vertical way if we want quarter 1 and quarter 2 to be shown in the first page and quarter 3, quarter 4 in the second page we can drag the ver vertical blue line. Finally, the last part in the status bar is zoom area or zoom slider. It contains a slider that enables you to zoom in and zoom out. Dragging the slider to the right side, zoom in to the cells. And dragging the slider to the left side, you make zoom out of the cells. Let's zoom in again to reach 100% of magnification. The slider default position is in the center and it equals 100% zooming. If we click the minus button, so we will make zoom out by 
10% each time you click the minus you will zoom out by 10% also if you click the plus sign you will zoom in by 10% also we have a button that we can click a dialog box is opened choose the zooming percent you desire from the choices you have like 25% 50% 75% and it is the common zooming percent that you can use or you can type your custom zooming percent here thank you for watching edu video world videos see you at the next video